There aren't a lot of reasons to get excited about the last seven games of the Edmonton Oilers season. The race for 30th is all but over and the Oilers won or lost, depending on your perspective. A chance to end Calgary's playoff hopes died with the third period collapse last Saturday. And the rest of the schedule doesn't really want to make you race to the rink. But Tuesday's visit by the Los Angeles Kings should be interesting for no other reason than it marks the return of Dustin Penner. So it's going to be kind of weird. Uh, you know, he's been in his locker room, I think, ever since I've been here. It's going to be kind of funny to see him on the other side. You know, we've been playing together for, you know, four years. For a while, it looked like Penner might be part of Edmonton's future. But in the end, management wanted to go in another direction, and they moved him to Los Angeles at the trade deadline. Very complimentary, you know, of our effort to try to help him be a player and, uh, and our requirement of him as a teammate, and, and, uh, and vice versa. He did everything he could to help us. Penner had long been accused of playing at less than 100% as an Oiler, but when he did go full out, he was a handful. And the others know he'll be going full out in his first game back in Edmonton. His ability to, to control the puck, um, he, he's definitely, I'm not going to say impossible, but very hard to get off the puck. Aaron Zee, he's going to be really happy to come back here, really fired up. I'm sure the fans will be excited to see him too. Uh, I, I hope they won't boo him. You know. How will Penner be greeted by the fans when he returns to Edmonton on Tuesday? Booed? Cheered? Or perhaps with the same indifference they accused him of? Either way, it should be interesting. And the Oilers are running out of reasons when they can say that. For the Edmonton Sun, I'm Rob Tuchkowski.